Hi there everyone and welcome to our first introduction video for the new Mako 2 board. Okay, this is the new Mako 2 board. It's very similar to our Mako 1 board but with a whole lot more features added to it. Okay, for a start we have as standard the ATARC circuit. It's now built onto the board. We have a header here for the connection for a recoil servo. We have our standard IR battle port connection. We have an onboard indicator LED which you can turn on and off using the jumper there. And then we have our Bergpanzer signal reduction which you can also turn on and off with the jumper that's located there. Down the bottom here we have two additional output ports. One can be used to uh, power Remora, our wireless link, and the second one can be used for Mamba, the speed reduction with battle damage circuit. Over here, an important feature that we've added on uh, is a voltage regulator. Now we've added a voltage regulator to the Mamba circuit, well, Mako circuit, so it's more compatible with the new Tajin MFU. I get asked a lot of questions, is the Mako compatible with the Tajin, new Tajin 2.4 system? The answer to that is yes, yes it is, uh, very much so. Um, and this voltage regulator only adds to the compatibility. Okay, so that's the Mako 2 board in a nutshell. Um, how does it all work? Well, I've got one connected up here. And just to show you the compatibility with the Tajin system, I only use a Tajin system today um, to show you the Mako 2 in operation. Okay, just a, it'll be a quick one through here. I won't be able to show you all the features. Uh, otherwise, the video would probably go for about 15 minutes. So um, we've got uh, radio on. We'll just turn the system on. Okay, first thing, as it Mako powers up, it sends information out to the uh, indicator LEDs. At the moment, it's in programming period. This is our hammerhead unit. Now, our hammerhead unit provides a very simple way to um, add IR battle capability to your tank. We have the indicator LEDs situated around here, and you can, if you want, add your IR LED right here on the unit. You don't have to add it there. You can keep it where it is, but... Um, there's a feature there for you to add it. Okay, so that's our hammerhead unit. We have here, and that connects up to the IR output here. I don't know if you can follow that through here. The indicator LEDs, they connect up to this port here. Um, the positive wire is the pin to the outside of the board. Have connected up here a modified recoil unit. This is modified with our servo recoil, which are the instructions are shown on the uh, R remote control tanks uh, forum. Okay, very simple to do that recoil modification. Also, I've got running up the barrel here a 3mm high intensity LED um, to provide the flash. Now, I like using LEDs because I like to use scale barrels, and that uh, high intensity flash unit doesn't exactly fit down scale barrels very well. Okay, so actually since I've got this in my hand here and we'll just turn the tank on, I think, I'll show you first up the recoil function now. I might turn, no, I'll leave the volume up so you can hear the cannon sound, I guess. Okay, so how does it work? What does it look like? Let's fire the gun and find out. There we go. I hope you like that uh, recoil action um, and I'll show you the cannon flash. Now remember all this is being provided by the Mako itself. So we've got the recoil and the cannon flash. The other thing that you might not have noticed since I had that in my hand was there was no noise from our motors. Here's our motors here. You would expect when we fire the cannon that they rock backwards and forwards with that horrible track recoil effect. We'll just fire the cannon again and you'll see that's been eliminated. Okay, so the Mako is eliminating the track recoil. It's giving you a nice recoil servo action and it's providing you with uh, a flash there for your LED. So it's doing all that as well as adding all the IR battle functions. And I'll just show you an operation here. Here is our LED. As I fire the cannon, you'll notice that with the uh, digital camera, it'll actually show you the IR light being fired. Okay, so um, I'll just show you one last thing. I'll just fire at the Mako to show you that 
we have also eliminated the um, the shutter effect when the tank gets hit. So if I can just manipulate my little automatic thing here, actually I might just put that down and fire at it from here. And we're watching the motors to see how they react. So there we have our explosion and the motors stay still. There's no violent shaking of the tank and no gearbox destroying actions there. So that's the Mako 2. That's it in operation with the new Tajin 2.4 uh, gigahertz MFU. The IR signal there allows you to fire at Tamiya tanks, it allows you to fire at Tajin tanks, it allows you to fire at Henglong tanks, it also allows you to fire at WSN tanks. All those tanks can also fire back at you and you will also get hit. So a very, well, very flexible IR unit, the El Mako 2. And now I hope even, even better with uh, added on re realistic recoil effect. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the Mako 2, available soon at the RCTA web shop. And um, yeah, catch you later. Bye.